Hi, it's Steve here from Anders Pink, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of our new content curation block for Moodle. One of the big problems we all face when we're running a learning platform is having fresh, up-to-date content to keep our learners engaged and to enhance our learning materials. So what we've done with Anders Pink is created a block where you can do exactly that for any topic or any domain or any particular issue you want to focus on. So if I create Anders Pink block here, I'll now configure it. So you can create briefings as I say on anything. So here I've created a briefing which is going to show me the latest content from the top e-learning blogs. So I put 40 domains in and it's now going to pull me the latest content from across all those 40 domains. And so here we have it. We have the latest four articles from those e-learning blogs. I've got a lot of flexibility with Anders Pink, so I can create topics and briefings on almost anything. So I just drag this into the center panel here. So let's configure this one. So we can now look at a briefing and say, OK, we want a briefing about, let's say it's the UK housing market. So I've created a briefing which is pulling back from the whole of the web latest articles on the UK housing market. And this time maybe I want a large image, two columns, uh, and I just want four articles. And this will now pull into the site the latest four articles on the UK housing market. I can do so much more with Anders Pink here as well. So for example, if I drag this over to the top left, um, in Anders Pink I can save articles to save boards and then I can display that using this block as well. So if I configure this block here, um, let's say I have a leadership reading list. So this is your leadership reading list. And instead of showing a, a briefing, I show a save board. And uh, this time I say my leadership reading list. Uh, maybe I wanted uh, large images. I just want to show three of them in one column. And now I've got the leadership reading list. So this is content I've curated from the briefings that I think my team should read. And that pulls those through as well. Um, I've got a whole range of flexibility here. So let's say I'm doing a course on, I don't know, driverless cars, uh, another example. You really can create briefings on any topic. So this one on driverless cars will pull through articles across the whole of the web um, that match the term driverless cars. So this time, maybe I'll have it in two columns with a large image, and I'll just display two of those articles. And so I can now see I've got two of the latest articles about driverless cars. So hopefully you can see with this content curation widget, you can set up your briefings in Anders Pink, and then you can bring them through and display them to create new and engaging content for your learners on your Moodle LMS. So if you want to find out more about Anders Pink, just go to anderspink.com and have a play with subscribing to briefings, creating your own briefings. You can even create briefings just to see the links that somebody's sharing. So you can say, here are five e-learning influencers. I just want to see what they're sharing, and that can be your briefing. You've got tremendous flexibility uh, with it. So do go and have a play and have fun.